Snap Judgment Studios. Daily Show correspondent Dulce Sloan and writer Josh Johnson are best friends who rarely agree on anything. On the new podcast called Hold Up with Dulce Sloan and Josh Johnson, they turn their hilarious, unpredictable, and legendary office banter into a war of words about topics big and small, mostly small, from texting versus calling to club bangers versus conscious rap and everything in between. Listen to Hold Up with Dulce Sloan and Josh Johnson from The Daily Show every Thursday on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Attention shoppers, we now have Taste in the Bread Aisle, Dave's Killer Bread. That's right, an organic bread that's no longer a sedative for your taste buds. Dave's Killer Bread is on a mission to make the most of the loaf, to rid the world of GMOs, high fructose corn syrup, and artificial ingredients, and plant the seeds of good in all that they bake. Killer taste, killer texture, always organic. Dave's Killer Bread. Bread Amplified. Welcome to Snap Judgment live in Brooklyn. I want to give you a fair warning. Our story today contains hilarity in extreme quantities that may produce excessive spasms of laughter and of joy. Listener discretion is advised. Snap Judgment live. Would you please give a Snap Judgment welcome to Jen Colbert. Soak it in, folks. This is what we're working with. You checking me out? The track jacket, the haircut. It's telling you something about me. Maybe you're picking up the context clues. If not, I'll just tell you. I do my hunting in the lady forest. I've never gotten applause for it before. If you guys could call my mom, that'd be awesome. She's still pissed. (laughs) And I'm from Louisiana. You can imagine how much fun it is to be in Louisiana with this haircut. I had a fella come up to me one morning after my show I'd done a show that night, we're at a coffee shop the next day, and he's staring at me. He just... (laughs) Are you that lesbian? I was like, yes, sir. How can I help? a question. Now this worries me. Because usually when I have to answer questions in Louisiana about my sexuality involves a drawing. Something in crayon, right, that they can clearly see labels. And he says to me, I got a question. You, uh, you just, uh, You just don't. You just, you you don't like men? Well, that's not a fair assessment of the situation. I do like men. I like men very much. I like my men like I like my coffee. Nowhere near my vagina. That's just a safety tip. (laughs) And sometimes, in my attempt to impress 
lady folk, I find myself in precarious situations. A couple of years ago, I had a girlfriend. We were having an anniversary, and I wanted to make a big deal of it, right? So I said, anything you want to do, baby, you name it, we're going to go do it. She says, let's go skydiving. I'm like, bitch, I meant you could pick where we eat. I don't want to go skydiving. Has anyone done this? Has anyone been on this adrenaline ride to hell? Okay, so you were there. Uh, were you attached to somebody? Okay, well, I was, this is what it said on the sign. Tandem skydiving jumps. Only I'm from Louisiana. So tandem is not a fucking word I know. <laughs> so you can imagine my surprise when a little fella starts strapping himself to me. Get off of me and introduce yourself first. And he did, he introduced himself. His name was Jason. Jason was so excited I was doing this. He's like, girl, you are gonna love it. It's exciting. It's invigorating. It's empowering. Let's go watch the video. Now that right there didn't make me feel good. Right? It was 2014. I felt we should be watching a DVD. Am I wrong? <laughs> I don't want to see safety precautions on your Betamax. That doesn't make me feel <laughs> safe. <laughs> Nevertheless, he whips out a VCR, pops in a tape. Here's what the tape says. You're going to have a little fella strapped to your back. Y'all are gonna jump out of an airplane, and at some point during the fall, he's gonna tap me on the shoulder, giving me the physical cue to let me know it's time to pull the ripcord. I will pull the ripcord, the parachute will expand, we'll feel a jolt as it catches the wind, and then we're just gonna waft down to safety. Yeah, this is the bullshit that they're selling. Jason tells me to make sure that I keep my legs moving as we approach the ground, right? You want to roll into, that makes sense, right? You're falling thousands of feet out the sky. This ain't the time to stick the freaking landing, you know what I mean? It's not like I come out of the plane like... There's no extra points for that, y'all, I asked. So he tells me to keep my feet moving as we approach, roll into it. I'm like, this is perfect. I'm round, I roll, let's do this shit. <laughs> Only as it turns out, y'all, because there's such a weight difference between me and Jason. <laughs> they can't strap Jason to the back of me. They strap Jason to the front of me, facing me. He's right here. He's right here. He is right here and he's excited. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. This is gonna be so, I, we are strapped together so, t I'm not having fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, we are touching each other in places I prefer not to. We look like some church group duct taped us together so we wouldn't be gay anymore. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> and the plane is way over there. I'm like, how the hell are we getting to the plane? <laughs> Fuck it, Jason. Put your feet on top of mine. I got this. Here we go. <laughs> My daddy taught me this in the living room. We got this. We got to the plane, there's not even a door on that plane. It's like a little cargo net. And I thought, shit. Fat people break cargo nets. I've seen me do it. I'm 
worried. Jason, it's gonna be great. It's gonna cut. We get on the plane. The plane takes off. We get to the height we're gonna jump from. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I changed my mind. I don't want to jump out of this airplane anymore. <laughs> but I'm strapped to this little princess and he's jumping. <laughs> so this decision has been made for me. Jason jumps out of the plane, I just follow. Now I know most of you have not jumped out of a plane, but those of you that have, you can attest to this. When you jump out of an airplane, <laughs> your ass. Hole <laughs> begins to expand as air begins to rush inside of you, coming at you like a windsock. <laughs> Jason just thinks I'm into it. He's like, I'm worried, y'all. I had tacos the night before. I don't need this. You know what I'm saying? I am using every muscle I Clenching. My little toes are curled. Do you understand me? I do not want there to be a situation. You know what I mean? I just don't need an air colonic at this moment. But we keep falling and that's what's happening. The ground is approaching very rapidly. And I'm thinking, he better tap me on the shoulder. I'll pull this damn ripcord myself. You know what I mean? Because this is not how I die. I'm not falling out of a plane and hitting a sidewalk. No, I'm going to choke on a ham sandwich in bed the way fat girls are supposed to. I have a plan. So I'm worried. And just before I'm about to pull it myself, I feel Jason tap me on the shoulder. I pull the ripcords. And... Nothing happened. I'm gonna say that shit again. Come on, here we go. Come on, here we go. I am falling out of the sky, strapped to Jason, and I pull the rip cords, and nothing happened. <laughs> Friends, this is where those tacos make a second appearance in our story. I'm not trying to be gross, I'm not trying to be graphic, but uh... I made a whoopsie. <laughs> yes, Captain Obvious, I shit my pants, that's what happened, yes. <laughs> I didn't mean to, it just happened. You know, shit happens and this is where it happens. Now, I can see the look on many of your faces. You're concerned for my safety. <laughs> I want you to know there is a second shoot, an emergency shoot, right? But you've got to be much closer to the ground before you can open it because it's made out of, like, paper. <laughs> so, it's, you remember this thing, right, when you were a kid, this thing? It's that, but with some string on it. It's not... <laughs> It's not sturdy as before. So in between the time when the first one doesn't open and when we're able to open the second one, all I'm thinking is how am I going to land with Lady Gaga here beneath me? You know what I mean? Use him like a landing pillow. I'm sorry only one of us gets to live to tell this story, but I know who I pick. And before I can even come up with a plan, Jason has pulled the ripcord on the second shoot. I feel the jolt. We waft, and as the ground approaches, I take off running like it's my job. My little fat legs are running Scooby-Doo style. My boobs are hitting me in the face. We're going very fast. So fast, in fact, when we finally touched down on the ground, they found us a mile later. And just a pile of parachuting poop. Just a, just a cacophony of caca right there. Just...
And once we got on the ground, Jason immediately unhooked from me. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't smiling anymore. Uh, he wouldn't make eye contact. And he seemed to be covered in salsa. Friends, how do you apologize for that? You know what I mean? There's not a Hallmark card for this occasion is my point. It's not like I can just walk into Walgreens and pick one up off the shelf that says, we strapped together, we flew up high. Then I took a shit on you right in the sky. I'm gonna get to you. At the first show where I told this story, a woman came up to me afterwards and asked me if it was true. And I said, uh, no, I just say it to sound cool. <laughs> she said, that really happened to you? I said, yes, ma'am, every word. Well, I mean, that's just... And she walked away from me and mumbled, what a weirdo. <laughs> Which I must take note with. Listen, if you are falling out of an airplane, your chute doesn't open, while you're strapped to another human, and you don't shit your pants, you're the fucking weirdo. Ultimately, I tell this story because I want to apologize to Jason. <laughs> he will not accept my friend request on Facebook. <laughs> he unfollowed me on the Twitter. So now, I'm forced to take this to the National Public Radio waves <laughs> and ask for your help. If anyone knows Jason in Aurora, Illinois, who works for Great Skydiving Escapes, please tell him you know somebody looking for him. All I want to do is apologize, right? Make amends. I want to, I want to take him to lunch, right? When I see him, be like, Jason, come on, man. This time, the tacos are on me! What did I tell you? Happy to ever. Oh, oh, we're not dubious anymore. Jen Holder, ladies and gentlemen. The amazing Jen Colbert, Snap Judgment Live. And if you dug it, we've got a full hour of Jen Colbert's comedy available right now, including a story never broadcast anywhere. Secret, underground hilarity, available right now at Snap Nation. Join at snapjudgment.org. Remember, the band Bell's Atlas produced and performed in real time every piece of music you heard on this show. And yes, they have a new album out, Bell's Atlas. You can witness the amazing performance you've just heard. Send it to friends and family because stories make the best gifts. Snapjudgment.org. Big love to the amazing Brooklyn Academy of Music. The Uber producer, Mark Ristich. Pat Machine Miller engineered this show. If Snap Live is coming to your town, get tickets with the quickness. But if you can't be there, remember... You can get the Snap Judgment Live Comedy Hour with an all-new, never-before-broadcast Jen Culver story available right this minute at snapjudgment.org. <laughs>